Uh, we were born in a dictatorship. We grew up in a dictatorship. We were raised in a dictatorship. We grew up under a system of government where we were denied our fundamental human rights and our rights as citizens of the country. Can we change it? We can't. So what are we going to do about it? We got to learn from it and we got to make sure it never happens again. You know, dollars you get, but we are less represented. Sigan now, then you take me to be independent. Namsun Amenya, Notanya, I'm better. Want to do you now, who are full less in the center. ICTJ in partnership with the TRRC and a whole group of young activists, musicians, um, youth leaders who represent various um, NGOs that are all run by young people. Uh, we've all come together to be a, a movement, um, a caravan uh, of um, young people in support of transitional justice. There's a group of young people that are engaged in the music, poetry and uh, drama and in short what we do is education uh, through entertainment. We'll be more than happy to play our part as young people of the Gambia towards the national uh, development, towards nation building. <laughs> get people involved in the transitional justice process that we have going on in the country right now as we are transitioning from 22 years of dictatorship to a new demo democratic dispensation. Um, the whole idea is to get to communities and talk to them about trans what transitional justice is, what it means to the Gambian people and how we can all contribute to its success as Gambians, as concerned citizens. I think it's very important that people know how their uh, system of government works and their constitution and how, how they can help in, in, in national development. Uh, one thing that uh, the International Center for Transitional Justice emphasized on was we want to reach villages that are hardly to be reached. Most of the time they don't understand these issues, they are not exposed to them, and people don't reach them easily because some of them are off-road. Transitional justice processes, they often start in the halls of power, and if there's not a, a real effort on the part of civil society and the part of state institutions, to move these processes out of the halls of power into the into communities, into villages. If there's not a real effort behind that, it tends not to happen. They are a partner in the uh, transitional justice process and this is uh, why we are joining this caravan. Tell them, tell them that our hearts, our guardians and hatred is a weed that needs to be uprooted. Tell them I said it is okay to agree with your enemy when he is right. It is not a sign of weakness. And that it's the duty of you to correct your friend when he is wrong for every man is fallible. Remind them it is true that our religions and tribes are different, but when God wanted to define beauty, he created a rainbow and filled across the skies because God understands that there is beauty in diversity, so teach them. We've gone to the Upper River region and we visited Basse and the surrounding villages where we had community right outreach to have our dialogue with the youth on transitional justice process. From there we moved to the Central River region. We went to Janjaburi and the surrounding communities and we did equally the same. We had a community outreach and have a, had a dialogue with the youth. Now we are in um, the North Bank region. Uh, we are at Farafen. We will be visiting the surrounding communities and we intend to do the same thing. Inclusivity uh, about making the, the kind of change we want to see in Gambia, something that includes all perspectives and something that really actively looks for and takes into consideration the perspectives of others. The TRRC's mandate is a broad one, uh, the first one being uh, the truth-seeking process, but the ultimate objective of the TRRC uh, is also this never again campaign, the, um, the idea to learn from the lessons of what has happened during the past. Our executive secretary likes to say, uh, build the constitution in the minds of the people and particularly young people because they will be in positions of power um, in the near future. Citizens were not willing to take part in the uh, affairs of their country because of the fear of being captured 
arrested or being killed. And we want to change that type of system of government to a system of government whereby citizens will get up and speak their mind and try to uh, uh, give contributions to in, in any way they can. So what happened previously was that um, the executive, particularly the president, has so much power that he could change the constitution and, and this was protected by the law, the same laws that he made himself. So it is very important that this time around we don't allow the president, we don't allow the executive to dictate what is written in the new constitution. It is our right as citizens to make sure that whatever is in that constitution serves our best interest. From our dialogues and our interac the interactions that we've had with communities and students, I guess uh, we've achieved a lot because we got to um, um, have conversations about what transitional justice really is, what it means to the ordinary Gambian, and what they, what they, what they believe, or how they believe they can contribute to its, uh, pr to the process. Power belongs to the masses. It belongs to you and you and you and you. We got to learn from it, and we got to make sure it never happens again. And that's where the Never Again campaign comes in. It is raising awareness. You know making the people of this country conscious of the fact that power belongs to them. We've seen how youth has played a vital role in bringing in the change that we've already had and I guess it's very, very important that we jealously guard that, 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 that change and make sure that we don't go back to what, uh, how it was before. So uh, I thought it was my responsibility to make sure I participate in, in, in sustaining the change and, 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 and guarding the, 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 the whole process itself. Just giving speeches and lecturing and, and that kind of approach, it has a certain limit to it. Um, and we believe that using music, uh, using art, using uh, culture is a very key way of uh, putting the message across. <laughs> We have been to, you know, so many villages that, you know, I have never ever thought that, you know, I would have the chance to go. We've been advocating the, through what we do, which is comedy and music. All we need is unionism. Our people were sleeping, but now we know what our rights, what our responsibilities are, and that we should speak up when and where necessary. <laughs> The impact is already measured for me because if you go to villages after speaking to them, their reactions, their, their response have shown me that really um, we have done a good job. We are happy that people really know their rights and by the grace of the Almighty, this talk would definitely change some people's minds. I've been very touched and inspired by how well the movement has been, uh, been received. It, it, it went beyond my expectations. Our nation never, never, our nation never,